Yes, there are fractions greater than 1. This video will use some pattern blocks to help you understand. Let's get started. Let's use this hexagon as one whole. I need two of these red trapezoid to make one whole. So in this case, if I only give one of the trapezoid, it's going to be one half of the hexagon. If I give two of the trapezoids, that is going to be one half, two half. And as you can see, two half is the same as my one whole. Extending them to one more trapezoid, as you can see, I now have one half, two half, three halves. If you recall, we needed two trapezoids to make one hexagon. So if we only use one of the trapezoid, the abstract in this case can be represented as one half. So if two of the trapezoids are provided, that is equivalent to two halves. Extending the same to one more trapezoid, the abstract can now be written as three halves. And three half is a fraction that is greater than one. Let's look at this rhombus. We would need two of the green triangles to form the rhombus. If I only give one triangle, that is one half of the rhombus. Let me bring in another triangle. As you can see, that's one half, two half. And two half is the same as one. Adding in another triangle, one half, two half, three halves. One half, two half, three half, four halves. Let's begin with the understanding of using two triangles to form a rhombus. If only one triangle is provided, the abstract can now be written as one half. And when two triangles are provided, the abstract now can be written as two halves. When three triangles are provided, the abstract now is three over two, which is three half. And when four triangles are provided, this now becomes four over two, which can be read as four halves. Three half and four halves are fractions greater than one. 